I don't think I've ever had one of these before. This is the Jaguar F-Pace SVR. 550 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in around four and a half seconds. In the Ferenz Red, full service history, 21,000 miles, which is brilliant. 2019-19, but super aggressive. It's like, it's not as big as a Range Rover Sport SVRs. It's more like a Velar size, but being the SVR with that much power, it's absolute incredible. I love it, the colour, the styling. Something about this car, which I think, you know what, wow, and it isn't going to hang around ever. This, this is going to fly out, definitely, because of the way it looks, the colour, the spec, the mileage, the service, it's different, all the right reasons. So from the front, like any top-end car, the, the biggest, the baddest, the, the best, this being the SBI, you have the big, huge air vents, the big sporty bumpers, headlight washers. This has the Jaguar LED technology headlights, which is the LED daytime running lights and the adaptive LED headlights. You've then got this lovely matte finish to the front grille, and that finishes off with the high gloss insert there. Again, matte finish to the front splitter, and you've also got the bonnet vents in there with a matte finish. But then you come to the wheels. Look at the design of them wheels. Absolutely stunning. Very similar to the Range Rover SVR, but different if that makes sense in a great condition, no curb damage, nothing. I like the little detailing of the SVR on the corner, the red brake calipers as well. Remember the 22 inch in size, so they are really big. More matte finish to the side air vents there and the side skirt with the black window surrounds and the black roof rails. You've then got comfort access, which means as long as the keys are in your pocket, it'll just open up and then you can get into this beautiful interior. So the first thing you'll notice is them seats. They've got a lovely perforated leather stitch in there and you've got the SVR in the headrest. One piece seating with a metallic finish just underneath. Three spoke steering wheel with heated steering wheel, cruise control, lane assist. You've then got more updated, modern version of the media system, which is the navigation, the Bluetooth, the onboard computer, and you've also got the full panoramic glass roof. The Meridian surround sound system, the ambient lighting of the door cards, electric seats with memory seats, both for driver and passenger, and then you have things like the SVR anti kick plates. The seats are nice and comfortable, but if you go on there, you've got your different options. So you've got heated seats and ventilated seats, both for driver and passenger. The dual zone climate control, front and rear heated windscreen. The different um, drive modes are down there, so you've got track, comfort, eco, for example. Two keys, twin cup holders, most importantly, sport exhaust. That's what makes that beautiful sound. The attention here as well, the Jaguar on that metallic plate. Glove box with all the manuals are just there as well. Alcantara roof lining, because it's the SBR, you want it to be the best. And then the back seat passengers get the same treatment. They've got rear heated seats, they've got the one piece seat effect on the back there with the SBR embossed and that metallic finish. White stitching, look at the detailing on this leather. It is absolutely mind blowing. The car is fabulous, genuinely fabulous. You've then got this arch kit as well, front and rear, mud flaps front and rear, and then this back bumper. If you look from any angle, it's got this very wide flared look to it with the reflectors and again more vents. Quad tailpipes finishing chrome, automatic tailgate, rear LED lighting system, reversing camera system. A nice big boot for the size of the car, that is more than enough and the seats go down as well. The car has been very well looked after, that's key. Because when you're buying a car like this with 21,000 miles on, you want to make sure it hasn't been smoked in, there is no damage. Don't get me wrong, there will be some level of wear the car has done 21,000 miles. But it has been very, very well maintained. From the door cars, to the driver's seat, to the steering wheel, everything's in good shape. So first of all, you've got the full digital dash there with the navigation, but you can configure that. Again, the aluminium paddle shift, armor headlights, armor window wipers, the different settings there, and then you have the electric adjusted steering column for up and down, in and out. The reversing camera system, Works just as easy as that. P for park, D for drive, you knock it into S for sport, and you get yourself a very, how nice is this? It's, it's our first one. I've had so many SVRs, but I dare say, this being slightly lighter and slightly smaller, it'd be a bit more nimble and it'll go. It'll be such a fun car to drive. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or a WhatsApp. Thanks for watching, bye bye.